of our child. And we do make those mistakes. That's a silly, small, bitter taste. We do make mistakes so that it brings bitterness into our lives. Uh, but did they do? Did they make any mistakes in Israelis right now in the desert? This is the beginning of their journey. Did they make any mistakes? They make a wrong turn at the, at the highway 340? <laughs> no. How they got there? How were they in such a predicament? As you studied, I assume, chapter 13 verses, uh, um, I think 17 through 18, Diane, right? 17 through 18, that tells you how they got there. And when, when the Israelites are out of Egypt, God led them, God even, it says, God even lead them through a Philistine country, though it was shorter, because God said what? They might encounter a war and they might change their mind and return back to Egypt. So God led them through what? Desert toward the Red Sea. See, God led them there. You see that? Why? Why Almighty God, who knows everything, where is the oasis, where is uh, that road, and why, why on earth did God take them to straight, easy, Right. I mean, he has been delivering them on a silver platter, right, so far, and they've been eating off of God's hands. Everything was so good. Now, in verse 25, at the end, God gave them a decree. At the end, it says what? God put them, what? to the test. What kind of test? Faith test. You know, when our lives are going so well, we don't need much of faith to rely on to live by, right? You can all agree. When trouble hits, then we go, oh God, that's good. That's good. God often takes us to the bitterness, to the place that where we can taste bitter, even though we didn't make anything wrong, even though you did everything right. That's how Israel has got there, right? You listening? Mm -hmm. Sometimes we think when we have trouble, or oh, I got punished. No, not really. You see, sometimes <coughs> trials and tribulations, problems come into your life, even though you did everything right. Because God wants to test your faithfulness. Remember Job, right? So that you can gain strength, you can be proven to be faithful. It's like a test pilot. Think of it when you go through uh, some treacherous time. Think of yourself as a test pilot. You know that is a uh, uh, world, um, the dangerous uh, job in the whole wide world. You test uh, fly an airplane that never could be flown in the air, and they, they test a pilot world, take an airplane, and go in the air, do all sorts of maneuvers, and go through the storms and all, so that it can be proven that airplane can fly. You see, when we go through God, Exactly, sometimes God will lead you to go through such tests.
pass such a trial so that you can prove yourself, you can believe yourself, you can see what kind of faith you have. And First Peter chapter 4, verse 12 says what? Well, it comes to everybody. He says, dear friends, don't be surprised when trial comes in your life as though it was a strange thing happened to you. No, it comes to you to test your faith. Amen. That's why sometimes the trials come in our lives. Either God leads you there, or you made it, or someone else caused it. But any of those situations, and God wants you to grow and mature and win the better pass the test. Got it? Got it. So therefore, if you want to pass the test, then what should you do? I mean, there's only two choices, two options there. You get better and grow in maturing the Lord, or you get bitter. You dwell on that situation, get bitter and bitter and bitter, and uh, you become a person who is going around with the full of bitterness. You think you don't have any friends if you are that way? What did uh, Israelis do when they were in the desert? Verse 24, they grumbled to Moses, right? Think about it. Three days earlier, three days earlier, they just crossed the Red Sea. What did they do? They sang and danced, I am free to run, right? I am free to live for you. I am free. And then, three days, now they grumble. That's why Moses says, you're not grumbling against me. You grow grumbling against God. It's a when you grumble, it's a lack of faith in God. It tells you you failed your test already when you start grumbling. You can just pass through. You can grumble, but don't dwell on it, right? And. You know, it's always the case when teams are losing, who gets fired? The coach, right? And Moses was a hero three days ago, now he's a zero. <laughs> People lift him up on their shoulders three days ago, now they are stepping, stomping on him. But, the good thing is Moses didn't do exactly the same thing to them. You see, Moses could have said, Hey, 